Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from a Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Uh, now, as you can see, we uh, don't have Banjo with us, but uh, we do of course have the box. Now, this box is the Ballista box. And uh, you know we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna build this uh, on our own. We'll try to show you a few steps along the way here as well as, of course, show you the finished product at the end. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what's inside, and then we'll get to building. All right, so here we go. We've got a handful of things right here. Uh, we'll start first. We'll just kind of move left to right for me. Uh, we've got a bunch of little cups here, and uh, they have little uh, things on the side, little squares and stuff. So I'm sure you can stack these up, and since this is a ballista, uh, you can uh, shoot these and probably knock it down. Here would be, of course, the balls that I'm sure you're going to use to uh, shoot it with. We've got some uh, some of the plastic screws and uh, nuts and screws kind of things right here to, I'm sure, help put it together. We've got a few pieces here. Uh, it looks like some uh, some numbers. There is uh, some. Oh, it's a foam piece that's black and white. There's a couple of uh, zip ties there, and then some kind of. Uh, it looks like a crochet needle almost, or whatever, a plastic crochet needle. So we'll find out what that's for here in a minute. We've got uh, some string along with a, a little like bobbin type thing on it. Uh, I'm sure that's going to be what we use uh, for the ballista to shoot our, uh, our stuff. And uh, then we've got some uh, little foam stickies as well as... Uh, it, it uh, I'm guessing some other additional instructions looks like along with it so help you uh, make sure that you get all that stuff on there the right way and then we've got the laser etched or the laser cut out wood pieces all the pieces that are going to be put together to get the ballista up and running this of course will be the body and frame of the ballista we have uh, the tinker zine here and uh, the Tinker Zine, of course, shows you what the, the ballista looks like. And you can open it up. Uh, got some different information in there. Shows you uh, how it works. Tells you about uh, the different things. Uh, speed and trajectory and different things like that. Uh, then it shows you, uh, it even shows you a thing here about uh, a bow and arrow. And uh, some other stuff there. So gives you lots of information uh, for the kids to learn with and those things that uh, you know they may want to they may want to try out and everything give you some, give you some ideas maybe you want to try and build your own custom version of this after you've built this one get some get some ideas in your head and then we've got the blueprints or the uh, the instructions here and you can see of course the picture of the ballista there uh, we have uh, some information there. It does, of course, show the cups all stacked up. There is uh, some information there on uh, getting it put together and using it, as well as then we've got the instructions for getting it all put together. Let's go ahead and uh, get started on that. And uh, like I said, we'll kind of show you what some of this stuff is as we go in terms of putting it together. Now you can see here we have uh, the first piece here and when you're putting this together make sure you uh, watch you want to have the screws on the side where everything's printed with the uh, little Tinker logo. Make sure the spacers are set to the back side of this to make sure that uh, you're able to see this stuff once you're uh, done. Now again, with uh, the other side here, as you can see here, you can see the, uh, the lines and drawing there. And then on the other piece here, you want to make sure you can also see the lines and drawing. So make sure that they are facing out so that uh, they're on the sides where the screws go in. All right, so here we go. We've got it all put together, uh, followed all the instructions, and we've got everything kind of set there. Now let's go ahead and uh, try it out here. Grab some of these balls and uh, we'll put a couple of these cups up and we'll do a couple of sh close range hits here just to uh, to try it out. And these are basically like little tiny orange ping pong balls it looks like. Let's see if we can get a few of these together. All right, 
right, so uh, here it goes. All right, knocked them, knocked almost all of them down at once. So uh, yeah, that works. That works pretty nice. Uh, it's not super tight uh, or hard to use. It, um, it's just the simple string pull right there, and then it follows the strings follow the rail there. Now make sure when you're putting this together and you're feeding it through the little uh, spindle type piece there uh, that you, when you take these strings, feed it through the side first, then through the spindle, then through the other side. Uh, I got in a little bit of a hurry the first time I started doing it and I had it over top of it and I looked at it and it's like that didn't work right. So make sure you check that out and watch, watch that. It does say it in the instructions but I just happened to miss it. So, but uh, it works pretty nice. Now, uh, in the instructions, if you need to, uh, if you need to adjust it or something like that, they do tell you that you can uh, adjust these. Now, these knobs, you turn and you turn both the top and the bottom one together to tighten this up uh, for the arms. And uh, if it's not quite shooting right, if it's shooting high or low or or something like that you can uh, loosen these up adjust the uh, arms up and down right now these both are roughly right in the middle on this one uh, if we tried to shoot maybe a little further i'd probably no i might notice a little difference as to how the ball flew and everything but uh, you can adjust the height there and then you can tighten them back down just remember don't over tighten these if you tighten them too much you can actually break that center piece so when you see it uh, start to flex, you definitely need to stop right there. It says if it's starting to cut into the wood, it's too tight, and you need to back off a little bit. So uh, we're right up to the edge right there, and so it should be right where it needs to be. But uh, pretty neat. Now, I, you have uh, a few other pieces here. You have some, uh, some numbers here, and I think they suggest you could put those maybe on the little squares there of the cups. And everything and then you've got uh, some of these little foam pieces here and I believe these foam pieces are also part of how to space these out to uh, try and get it to dial in and then one thing I didn't notice in it because it was clear but you have this little uh, protractor here and it has from zero up to uh, 90 degrees going from both directions and you can use this to kind of see what your angle needs to be to get your distance out and everything so you can use it for that and uh, you know kind of kind of sight yourself in get your get your setup going get yourself lined up to where you need to be on your uh, on your angle there if you're gonna do 45 degrees you kinda set it up so okay well there you go you got 45 degrees roughly right there you pull back and let her fly and uh, definitely this would definitely be lots of fun uh, now they didn't say anything about trimming these off at least not that I saw maybe I missed it um, <clears throat> I would say just to make sure that you keep uh, the string and in case it uh, tr maybe cuts through at some point in the future I would say maybe take this and uh, Maybe just put a simple little piece of tape at the bottom, put the two pieces uh, or four ends down together, and then just put a little piece of tape across the bottom. That'll hold them all uh, out of the way, and uh, you can you can then uh, make sure you don't cut anything you don't want to, and you have the extra length for later in case you need to uh, make adjustments or in case, uh, you know, like I said, maybe one of the strings happens to uh, break for whatever reason but uh, definitely kind of a neat little thing basically you know just just uh, very similar to the way a uh, a uh, bow and arrow works or, or just a bow works where you're pulling back on the arms the difference is it's not one solid piece you've got these two with these tensioning pieces here and uh, then you can launch lots of different things like these little balls Definitely a cool little thing uh, for the kids to build. Uh, let them learn some of the physics behind this and the science behind it, as well as uh, learning how all these pieces kind of interlock and get put together. So I think that'll do it for me today, guys. My name's Cougar, and this is uh, 
the world of me and a Kiwi's Tinker Crate. If you guys like this, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you guys want to check this out, go ahead down there in the description below. We'll have some links to uh, to Tinker Crate, Kiwi Crate's uh, line of products. And uh, also, we have our social media down there that you can check out. And uh, if you haven't done so already, look over there in the corner or down there below the video. They're both uh, things that uh, can get you subscribed uh, to the channel, let you know when uh, new videos come out. You want to check that little bell icon to do that. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. Uh, this is the world of me in a Kiwi's Tinker Crate. I'd like to wish you all a good day. And I will see you later. Bye.